Hey guys, this is KJ48, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for the Forest. This is going to be single player. This is Alpha 0 0.16. This is Season 3, Episode 1. So yeah, they've done a couple updates in the time I've been away. Um, we're going to explore all the updates. I'm not going to go over them now. But um, needless to say, they have uh, done quite a bit since I've last played. And one of the major things they've did in their last update for this game is they've gone to the Unity 5 engine. Just like 7 Days to Die. They have gone to the Unity 5 engine. To be perfectly honest, in the first glancing of the game, I can't really see that big of a difference. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna find a place to live, and we are going to toy around with some of the new update uh, things we can build at night. Because as you guys know, those uh, nasty cannibals are gonna be here before you know it. So let's go ahead and break open some of these. Some of these um, uh, some of these luggage cases and get some much needed materials. And uh, yeah, then we're gonna go for, look for a place to live. Whoa. I don't know what just happened. Okay, so you can look on the bottom right hand side. We now have a thirst meet, a proper thirst meter, which is pretty cool. I'm pretty sure that's new. I don't remember seeing that before. We got some deer over here, huh? How about some deer? Uh, I'm pretty sure we could kill those deer and cook them. Uh, I've played this game. I've played this game quite a bit. Well, not quite a bit. I've played this game here and there on stream. And um, the game has been very, very buggy on stream. So, uh, although I have been playing multiplayer, so maybe a uh, single player won't be quite as buggy. Which is the reason I'm playing single player. Stupid freaking tennis balls. Okay. Let's go ahead and pick up some rocks. And... Let's get these, uh, what are these things, circuit boards? I think those are used for bombs or something. And I don't know how long we should stay here. We should probably just get out of here now. Oh, what's this? Can't break that open. Alright. Let's get out of here and go look for a place to live. I know you can kill the deer, but I think it's pretty difficult to, so I'm not going to bother. Um, let's just go see if we can get an idea of where we are. Um... All right, there's the ocean. Game's supposed to look a lot uh, different because they did upgrade the engine, but I don't really notice that much of a difference, to be honest. Um, we're gonna see what kind. There, I know there's a lot more. Um, there's a lot more craftable items in the game. Like uh, there's like places for you to put all your items, like your pills and your, you know, Molotov cocktail, all kinds of crazy stuff. You could, you have places to put them. Um, the thing is, like, I don't really see any need to put them anywhere, to be honest. Because, um, you know, your inventory is pretty, like, infinite for the most part. Um, you can continue. Oh, this looks a lot different. Yeah, you can tell this looks a lot different. Let's go ahead and make some Molotovs right now. Because reasons. These things are still pretty good against the, uh, against the natives if they attack, so... I think I know exactly where I am. Uh, maybe not. Thought I did. What if the map's changed? Uh, this looks like where I used to live. I could live here. Oh boy, look at this. This is all kinds of messed up. Um, I think we could live here. So, let's take a look at our little book here. And, we got a little light here for the book as well. Uh... How do we get started? There we go. We gotta make a we gotta make our first shelter, which is basically uh, gonna be our spawn point. So we'll just make the easiest shelter we can. And place down what we can in there. Alright, we need more sticks. Let's get some sticks. Pick up sticks. I always like to stay like on the edge of a cliff face because it makes it makes it so you have less uh, area. You have to worry about defending. Let's see if there's some kind of fire we could put down. Something we could do to get rid of these stones. Um, ooh, what's this? A, ooh, a bed. I don't know what that's for. Furniture? I don't know what that does. A skull lamp. That's pretty interesting. Deer skin. Decorative skull. Animal trap. Explosive trap. Got the, the basics there. A water collector. Ooh, that's nice. We need a turtle shell for that. Alright, well, let's look at fires. And we can make a fire pit. 
We'll make it over here, so in case we get attacked, hopefully some of the dumbasses will run into it. And uh, let's go collect some more sticks. Some of the key uh, things you want for your area to think about where you want to build is defense and stuff in the area that you can, like, collect on the floor. Um, if anything's on the... the uh, um, if anything's on the forest floor, then it will, like, respawn so you can collect it and come back and get it again later. So it, it makes it a good spot to, you know, be at. Oh my god, we need a lot of... We need a lot of leaves. Okay. Give me all your leaves. Okay. That should be enough. And once we make once you make your first like basic shelter, you can save the game. So you walk up to it, you press C to save. And there you go. And you press Z if you want to skip the night, which I don't want to. Alright. Now we're going to have, um, I want some place to keep my rocks and sticks and all that stuff. So we'll make a stick holder right there. We will, oh, we need a place to sit down as well. Um, the blue bar, if you look on the bottom right hand side, the blue bar is my stamina bar. Um, it'll fill as much as my max, my stamina. Basically, it's kind of like a hard stamina bar and then a soft stamina bar. The soft stamina bar is the light blue bar, and that goes down as I sprint around. And, oh, it doesn't seem to be going down when I sprint. But it goes down when I, like, swing my axe. And then the dark bl the dark blue bar is kind of like a hard stamina bar. Your soft stamina bar can't go over your hard stamina bar. I'm not sure if I'm explaining that right, but <clears throat> it makes sense to me. So there's lots of different ways you can get your stamina up. And one of those ways is eat chocolate bars, drink some soda... Or, you can go ahead and make a wooden bench to sit on. Let me see if I can find the wooden bench. Where's the wooden bench? Oh, look at this stuff. Custom roof. Climbing rope. There we go, wooden bench. So, what we'll do is we'll put down a wooden bench right here. That's going to take logs. So, uh, let's go ahead and cut down a tree. Now, if you cut down a tree with two hands, if you don't have anything in your other hand, and you cut down a tree with two hands, you'll cut it down a lot quicker and more efficiently than if you try and cut it down with one hand. If you have, like, your lighter out, like this, while you cut down the tree, it'll it'll take a lot longer. So, there we go. Now, that should fall and pop up into pieces. There we go. Nice logs. Carry two logs at a time. And there we go. Carry these logs over here. Just drop them, drop them off. Don't want them going anywhere. And then what you do is you sit on here. And that will, that will regain your hard stamina bar. Ooh, thirst. You know, I never thought about thirst before. Well, I do have some sodas. But, yeah, I'm going to be looking for a turtle. As a matter of fact, maybe we'll go out and look for a turtle right now. Yeah, let's go out and look for a turtle. Because I want to make that rain collector. Because eventually without the rain collector, I guess you'll die. Because, you know, you only have so much... You only have so much drink on you. Am I full on sticks? Yeah, I'm full on sticks. Give me a second. Let me go back and work on the stick thingy. I hate leaving sticks behind. I hate leaving anything behind. It's, it's, it's kind of a pet peeve of mine. Go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a. We're going to make a rock holder, as I like to call it, a boulder holder. Why do I like to call it a boulder holder? I don't know. Because I'm weird. Alright, so let's collect some stuff, All this, then we'll look for turtles at the same time. The cool part is you can't get lost because it'll show you your your home wherever you go on the map, which is nice. I wish uh, freaking Savage Lands did that. Oh, here's where I normally build. I think. Looks like they changed it. Yeah, they changed it. Wow, this looks even cooler. 
Oh well. Where are the damn turtles? We should probably stop running because usually when we run is when we like run by stuff, you know? Come on, turtles. Why can't I hold three sticks now? I could hold more than three sticks earlier. There's the boat. Might as well go out to the boat, right? I know there's uh, sharks in the water, but whatever. Come on. Man, I'm so slow. Oh, Jesus, that's like a whole school of sharks. Yeah, you know what? Forget that. I didn't know sharks travel in packs like that. Jesus. And look at how slow I am. Why am I so slow? I could swim faster than that in real life. Screw it. We're, looking, we're here for turtles anyway. I have no idea where to- oh boy, we got- we got cannibals over there. Alright, let's- let's go this way. <laughs> How about that? Pro tip! Cannibals over there? You go this way. Write that down. So you don't forget. Yeah, I have no idea where to look for the turtles. I'm afraid I'm gonna like miss them, you know, like run past them. I just like moving fast, you know? Oh, this is unnerving. Yes. Oh, good, I can take the heads. Hmm, that's good to know. I'll come back when I have more room. Alright, I just saw a rabbit and a deer. But that don't do me much good. I need a... I need a turtle. Come on, turtles. We'll keep looking while it's daylight. There's no reason not to. We might want to be setting up a base, but... Yeah, maybe we should start setting up our base. Might be a good idea. I'm going to be under the assumption that the, uh... The bad guys still hate fire, so... Let's see. There we go. Come on, turtles, where are you? I know you're around here somewhere. Probably not. Be nice, though. Alright, I am thirsty, so let me uh, go ahead and drink a thing of soda. Eat a candy bar. Okay, we got some logs over there. We'll just keep gathering during the day and we'll build at night. There seem to be a lot of rocks around here, huh? Maybe I'm just missing them. I, I'm, I've been known to, like, run past rocks. sticks I can hold. It's not telling me. Oh, can't collect any more sticks. 
Come on, rocks. Where the heck are you? I'm gonna need rocks for the standing, the standing fires. Um, last time I played this game, uh, the cannibals are very afraid of fire, and I'm gonna assume that's still the case. Hopefully. So let's go ahead and finish this, and let's start making some standing fires. Storage. We do have storage items, which is pretty interesting. Um, we've got a weapon rack, an explosive holder, a medicine cabinet, a snack bar. Honestly, none of them are really that useful. But it's still pretty cool. I don't know why I'd want wood, a wood target. I don't know what the bed's for either. Let's go ahead and make a, a skull lamp, because why not? There we go. Do we not have to like light that on fire or? Hmm, I guess not. Oh, those are all the effigies. All right, where's the regular fires? Fires. Oh, wait. Oh, there they go. Standing fire. I was like, wait, do we not have any standing fires anymore? There we go. And let's make a bunch more of those. Give us all kinds of room. Alright, let's grab everything out of here. And let's make all these bad boys. Wow, that's it. I'm out of everything already? My goodness. Alright, well, let's go ahead and save. Just in case. I like to save a lot, you guys know that. And let's go ahead and get some more sticks and rocks, shall we? Break all these stupid bushes. Stupid mother nature. Maybe that's why the, these guys hate me so much. Whoops. Gotta keep an eye out for these guys. They like to they like to attack you at night, you know, as uh, scary monster type people are, are want to do. We've got the line of fires going. I don't know what this thing's for. This thing looks kind of stupid. There's a lot of uh, items around here, which is nice. Although, I haven't seen a lot of wildlife, which might be a problem. How many more sticks can this thing hold? Wow, it holds a lot. <laughs> Oh, lag. I'm getting a little nervous. As the game starts getting darker, I start getting scared. I'm a scared boy. Like, I don't even want to go out there anymore. Get that rock. Oh, 
this really scares me coming out of here like this. I just feel like it's such a waste of time, you know, sitting at my camp all night, you know? Okay. Let's have a seat and see what else we can make. Should make we could make one of these shelters. Or we can make um, a tree house. A tree house would be neat. Or we could build our own walls. I'm not sure what the difference is in these walls, to be honest. I guess we might as well make defensive walls. It's hard to tell how to do these, though. Maybe we'll make them just a solid wall behind us. <clears throat> okay, let's do... I'm going to make a solid wall behind us, which kind of takes away from the idea of, uh, you know, not having to worry about what's behind us, but I think it'll be easier this way. And then we'll... This usually snaps into place, although I don't really think I want it to. Nah. That doesn't look right. Mm, like this. That'll work. And then we'll have another one. I can snap into place. Alright, we'll put another one behind it. Looks good, looks good. Okay. This one's got to go on a little bit more of an angle. Like... Like... This... Yeah, that'll work. <sighs> this is gonna be a lot of work, man. A lot of cutting down of trees, but, you know, if you want to be safe... Yeah, a little bit more. Like that. Mm, sounds like there's guys over here, but I don't see anybody. So... This game does a really funny thing of playing with shadows in the darkness. Um, a lot of times you'll see something off in the distance and it looks like a humanoid like type person, like a shadow or something moving and you can't really tell. And um, I'm not sure if that's uh, intentional or not, but man, if it is, it's genius. Mm. Nah. Is this thing not going to let me not snap it into place? Nah, it's not going to let me. That's okay. It can snap into place. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. I think we should put a door here. Nah, I just want one door right in the front. No. Like this. I want the fires on the outside, so if they try and come and beat on the wall from the- I don't know if they'll attack the wall or not, but um, if they do, I'd like for them to have to deal with the fires as well. Okay. Okay. Uh, put the door right here, or right here. Let's put it right here. Alright, we're gonna need a door. Oh, there's my timer. 
All right, let's put the door here really quickly. Come on. Ah, uh, it's annoying. All right, there we go. That's good for the door. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for episode one. I'll see you next time for episode two. Till then, take it easy.